And for the first time since Holly's remains were found Sunday, her family spoke out today. This as the search for more evidence intensified. Chris Conti is live in Parsons. Chris, what's the mood there? Well, Vicki, walking around here today, you get this sense of a profound feeling of loss and heartbreak. Holly's remains were found about 15 miles north of where we are right now at her family's church, and it does give her family and this community a bit of closure. But it also means that the small bit of hope that she might still be alive is now gone. This is the kind of thing that, that you always think about happens to those other people somewhere else. Improbable as it may seem, there is not a person in Decatur County who hasn't in some way been touched by the last three years. Those responsible will be afforded a trial. As an innocent victim, Holly had no such right. Heartbroken, lost, and too shaken to speak, Holly Bobo's family stood quietly today as their attorneys served as their voice. The family knows that Holly is in a better place, and we're comforted by that knowledge. We hope that no family will have to experience what we have endured. Even after the indictments, even after the charges, there was still hope in this small town that somehow Holly was still alive. It's a heavily wooded area. But with confirmation last night that remains discovered in the woods along I-40 Sunday were hers, this town has hope no more. I've never seen a stronger, stronger family. I've never seen a more dedicated family. I've never seen a family that wouldn't give up. I've never seen a family so full of faith. Next month, Holly would have turned 24. She likely would almost have her nursing degree from UT Martin. This is not the end of it, but at least we finally know what's happened to Holly. Three and a half years of hope has now given way to a lifetime of heartache. One day that they'll see their Holly again.